My name's Helen Anderson and I'm one of the trainers at Rollback the Clock. I'm here at the Danny Knock Club and we've run a few of the Rollback the Clocks programs here um, so far. I think this is around about our fourth or fifth program. Um, all the ones that started with us are still with us and they're loving it. Um, and we've got more and more people joining all the time. They find that it does help things like, you know, picking up their grandkids. Well, a lot of them have got little grandkids that they run around after and they want to be fit and healthy enough to be able to, um, to do that as well. Um, I myself has just, uh, just become a grandmother, so I know I'm going to find out the importance of all of that. Um, they do keep you yeah, definitely uh, on the go. So, um, yeah, so being, having good balance, um, being fit and healthy, being able to bend down, pick things up, um, just the simple little things, getting a good night's sleep, um, the importance of um, heart health, um, mental health. Um, a lot of them during COVID really um, sort of struggled with. Um, that isolation and, and starting to get back out in the community again and feeling safe about it. Um, I think Roll Back the Clock has really helped with that. So today we had our bowl session and um, a lot of them have never even put a bowl in their hand before. Rob that was here, you know, he made it a really fun way of learning how to use the bowls. We had a little bit of competition between, you know, the two sides and they were actually, you know, able to, um, through, through the exercise, we were able to be able to lean down um, throw the bowl and you know feel okay feel like they're not going to fall over you know um, and it, it made it a bit of fun so the the bowls they've really started to enjoy yeah so a lot of them um, even are talking about maybe coming in and do some social bowling as well so they've, they've enjoyed it that much and some of them were like oh no the bowls is not for me I don't really like that but once they got out and had a go they actually thought oh this is actually you know a lot of fun when I say to them, you know, you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it, you can sit and watch, but I encourage them to try and have a go because once they have a go, they actually find that they're really enjoying it. Um, the club here's got a fantastic atmosphere, you know, they're all friendly. Um, they love to sit and have a cup of tea and a bit of a chat afterwards. I had one of the ladies today, Dot, um, who was come to me, uh, this is her first session, and she came to me because she wanted help with her balance. And she was so proud of herself today that she didn't think she was going to be able to do the bowling. But she said to me at the end, I'm so proud of myself that I didn't fall over, you know. She didn't want to stick, she didn't want to use the, the bowler's arm, she wanted to do it on her own and she um, managed to do that. She said she can't wait to go home and tell her son about it. So she was, yeah, she was very excited. I love the fact that it helps people feel better about themselves. Like uh, some of them have come up and said to me, well, wouldn't I know what to do without it? Um, because it's just the, the mental side of it and the physical side of it has, um, has really helped them. So that's what keeps me coming back. I love to see the smile on people's faces, them interact with each other, um, the fact that they get benefit out of it, you know, their balance is better, their strength is better, their, um, their overall health and fitness is better and they're learning a lot about their health and fitness as well. So they're learning, you know, about heart health, they're learning about their sleep, what they can do, you know, for all those sorts of things. So um, the whole program all round is just brilliant.